like I'm a little bit frustrated because I know that my methods of doing things in a naive way is not necessarily uh, gonna work uh, as much as other things will but I'm just hopeful that's it I mean I'm, I'm gonna do it either way but I just want to hope that that by by staying like this forever the, against all odds I'll still make it uh, and uh, I maybe not as much as I would if I were to do all the things I consider uh, hypocritical or uh, or dishonest but I would um, I would like to to believe that at least I'll come closer to it rather than 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 very very far away and I don't know if it makes sense I don't know if you're really understanding what, what I'm trying to say uh, if not I'll make a few more uh, videos talking on this topic I'll try to maybe prepare it a bit better so I can uh, just uh, pronounce it uh, in a more logical and organized way but I just feel like this is something that's sitting uh, in my heart I can say and I, I have to share it I just have to share it I don't think anyone should do the marketing thing I don't think anyone should do the selling thing I, I don't think the customers are stupid I don't think they are customers I think everyone are humans and they n should know what what's good for them and if they don't then it's their problem I shouldn't trick them into into knowing what to buy or not and and I think we all kind of want to improve our chess and understand that chess is a really nice thing to spend our time on and uh, it's not a coincidence that uh, I chose chess to, to be a main part of my uh, of my life and you can say it's basically the only part I only just do different angles of it but maybe different time controls is the word but I really want to be able to to do it well and to keep it up and I feel like there's a lot of potential both in me as a, as a chess philosopher is what I like to call it and uh, in this uh, channel and the people who choose to follow it and I'm really hopeful that uh, it's gonna work out fine even though I have no idea I can only guess it's my intuition and uh, well I'm curious to hear your response I'm very eager to to know what you think about this whole concept I'll talk about it uh, more in the future uh, I'm gonna do a philosophical uh, series or, or, or playlist if you want to call it this way where I talk uh, about different topics uh, that don't require just understanding necessarily in order to relate to and might involve some wisdom hidden if you look very closely uh, let me know if you find some I, I'm, I'll be glad to know and uh, yeah that's just something that I wanted to say I, it just makes me very sad to think that that if I don't manage to beat the the system with my naive with naivety naiveness I don't know how you say it by being naive then I have to join all the all those who do it and uh, I won't give any specifics I mean any examples but I'll, I'll Okay, I'll say just that there are these random things that I, I keep seeing everywhere of like the three secrets to success that every chess player should know and every grandmaster doesn't know and all the world championships got wrong, world champions. It's just, I mean, I hope people can see past it, but I see how successful these kind of things are and the fact that it reaches me even though I ne was never interested in those things. And, uh, well just it shouldn't be this way and well 
there is this phrase that uh, just I just remembered now it's like be the change that you want to see so I know I'm just basically talking about it but I am hoping to actually be a living example of, of what it is to to not care about those things and and to in a way indirectly inspire some few others to, to maybe do the same and uh, well just as a small notice as a, as a small note I, uh, not, not notice as a small final note I want to say that I'm very inspired by uh, Mr. John Bartholomew in his uh, approach to things because as far as I know and from my conversations with him he, he did everything uh, very organically and uh, focused on the good content and there are many other examples but just the way that that his channel is kind of uh, from my perspective seems like it uh, exploded in the past year compared to what it was uh, back when I opened my, my own channel uh, is a proof that uh, these things can work and that uh, and they should work and I want uh, to that everyone will be like this and well I'm not gonna ask anyone personally but I'm just gonna say it here and hope that uh, that some of my words will have impact uh, especially yeah and it, if, if it will, will not necessarily drive someone to action then it will at least raise the awareness to to this topic because it's very important uh, to understand that whenever someone is trying to sell you something and uh, to beware if they do and uh, to think if they have a, a hidden motive because if they do then well makes things so much more complicated and I don't see any reason it shouldn't be simple just like the chess rules I mean look at the rules it's fun play the game and focus on on where on the thing on the place where the value is and uh, not at the place where you can trick people into giving you their value uh, yeah that's basically it uh, it's my first attempt and uh, I like the idea of not editing or nor uh, preparing anything and uh, let me know if you like this kind of improvised uh, ranting <laughs> so hope you can relate to this video or at least had a few laughs and if you want to relate some more then Keep watching the next renting videos.